Hello everyone, it's lovely that you can join me this morning to hear the Bible and worship God together. Today we are reading about a time that Jesus was being asked some tricky questions by some people who didn't believe in the resurrection. The resurrection is when Christians rise up from the death and go to be with God. These people were called Sadducees and they were religious leaders who believed in slightly different things to the other religious leaders of the time. Let's find out what happened. We are reading from Luke chapter 20, verses 27 to 38. Sadducees try to trick Jesus. Some Sadducees came to Jesus. Sadducees believe that people will not rise from death. They asked, Teacher, Moses wrote that a man's brother might die. He leaves a wife, but no children. Then that man must marry the widow and have children for his dead brother. One time there were seven brothers. The first brother married, but died. He had no children. Then the second brother married the widow, and he died. And the third brother married the widow, and he died. The same thing happened with all the other brothers. They all died and had no children. The woman was the last to die, but all seven brothers married her. So when people rise from death, whose wife will the woman be? Jesus said to the Sadducees, On earth people marry each other, but those who will be worthy to be raised from death and live again will not marry. In that life they are like angels and cannot die. They are children of God because they have been raised from death. Moses clearly showed that the death dead are raised to life. When Moses wrote about the burning bush, he said that the Lord is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is the God of living people, not dead people. All people are alive to God. Let's talk about our Bible story. Well, that was a bit of a strange, sad story, wasn't it? So many brothers dying. The Sadducees must have spent a lot of time thinking up this strange story of the brothers and the wife to try to prove that there is no such thing as the resurrection and to see what Jesus would say. Sometimes we spend too long thinking of all the things that could go wrong, like the Sadducees did, instead of looking at the bigger picture. And it's the bigger picture that's more important here. Jesus answered the question, but then looked at the bigger issue about resurrection. Sometimes, as Christians, we can get asked very difficult questions, but often the people asking are not expecting an answer. They're just trying to confirm what they believe to be true. If this happens to you, it's best to answer as best as you can, but to try to see what the real issue is. What are they really worried about? Sometimes people just need someone to listen to them and try to understand what they have been through. They may have been hurt by someone or something and it is making them angry at God. Giving them the chance to have their say may be what they really need at that time. On earth we live, sometimes fall in love and get married and eventually die. But Christians believe that is not the end of the story. We believe that when we die, we are raised from death and go on to live forever with God as God's children. In heaven there's no war or death, no arguments or sadness because it is a place where God is and God is love. As Christians, we can try to spread some of that love to others we meet every day by being a friend, having a listening ear and being there for someone when they're in need. Let's talk to God now. God of love. Bless those whose heads are filled with questions and those whose hearts are filled with longing. Give them confidence in asking and joy in finding out. Amen. And let's say the grace together.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. Don't forget, if somebody asks you some difficult questions, don't get het up trying to answer. Maybe just listen to them and see what they really want to know. See you soon. Goodbye.